K0OKP from WA6GAD, National Water Service. K0OKP, go ahead, Pat. We're looking at what's going on down in Arkansas, too. Hey, I just got my radar up here going and everything, so. All right, keep me updated. You got the one cell in Bend County that's coming up, go right up into Jasper County. Then down in Franklin County, you got a bunch of tornado warn cells down there, a lot of tornado warnings down there. Moving um, northeast, so uh, don't know whether to bring it up on a single cell, but if it really starts blowing up in a big segment, we'll have to bring that up. Sounds good. Yep, we're sitting here monitoring. We've got the radar up now, and everything's all caught up. Yeah, we'll probably get an update here as soon as the staff gets done looking at the weather channel. Moving monitoring, wa 6 jgf N zero N W S repeater. We'll be standing by and monitoring K zero KP. Uh, good evening, you two kids. Happy holidays. November zero, Charlie. I'm totally not listening. Oh, yeah, we just had our Sky One recognition day here at the office, so. I ran out to the car, get a hold of Teresa here. All right, well, run back up there. Yeah, I finally worked uh, the National Weather Service office over in North Carolina. And H up here at the house just uh, stinks. That's all there is to it. My remotes, I can't even hook to any remotes around the country and hear anybody hardly. Just a high level of uh, atmospheric. So you can take care. We'll be listening. We're the same problem here. All right. We'll be monitored back and forth. Teresa, if you have any questions, call direct, okay? Will do. We'll be monitoring. K zero, KP. Clear on that. Call direct on the telephone. What you were talking about. The A6 Stadium, National Weather Service. Oh, keep your head down and keep your powder dry, Teresa. November zero, Charlie Echo Lima. Yeah, I just brought my radar up. Yeah. Here it comes. Anyway, Angel C yeah, we'll be listening. Trying to work some uh, SRD also. Yep, we got everything set up, ready to go. All right, catch you later. Case zero, KP. Na zero. Calling me, KC0, KP. Job repeater is starting to act up. I'll go out. I'll, I'll be monitoring you. If it starts making all that noise, I'll have to disconnect it so everybody else will be able to hear. So people down here get on Echo Link or broadcast to Firefox TV. So, and if I have to get on Echo Link and relay anything, don't want that repeater to be taking everybody else out. We're watching one cell there in uh, Bentonville, which is tracking north right up towards Joplin, and then a couple of them down there uh, around Ozark Parksville, down there in Johnson, down there in Arkansas, and down in Marshall. All right. We'll uh, glad to monitor, and if you need anything, let me know. Case to zero. KP. So if it starts making all that noise, I'll just disconnect your Joplin repeater and it'll hold you on that link or anything. NA zero oh oh. Safe Marvin, N0 CEO up the highway in Springfield, waving hand, or click. A significant weather advisory for Eastern Cherokee, Southeastern Crawford County, Western Martin, Western Newton, and Webster Jasper counties until 8.30 p.m. At 7.42 p.m., Doppler radar was tracking a strong thunderstorm near Seneca, or 10 miles west of the show moving north at 45 miles an hour. Dime-sized hail and wind gusts up to 50 mile an hour would be possible with these storms. Locations impact include Upland, Carthage, Prairie State Park, Lamar, Galena, Cartersville, Jasper, Lomonola, Pittsburgh, Webb City, Carl Junction, Fontaine, Garrett, Seneca, Liberty, Airport Drive, and Dewig, if I'm pronouncing it right. This includes the following highways. Interstate 44 between mile markers 0 and 15. Interstate 49 between mile markers 23 and 35. Between mile markers 41 and 45. And between mile markers 49 and 66. 
This storm may intensify, so be certain to monitor local radio stations, available television stations, for additional information and possible warnings from the National Weather Service. This is KC0, KC with the Southwest Regional Sky Warning. N zero N W S repeater. KC0, KP with the Southwest Southwest Regional Skywarn with another significant weather advisory for Western Ozark, Southwestern Douglas, and Eastern Taney Counties until 8.45 p.m. At 7.53 p.m., the Doppler radar was tracking a strong thunderstorm near Ozark Isle, or 8 miles northwest of Bull Shoals, moving north at 45 miles an hour. Giant side hail and wind gusts up to 50 miles an hour will be possible with these storms. Stand by for this. Locations impact include Bull Shores Lake, Pontiac, Sundown, Wilhoyt, Pro Tem, Reuter, Bradleyville, Isabella, Theodosia, Noble, Brown Branch, Thornville, Rome, Long Run. Caution to report severe weather contact your nearest law enforcement agency. And this to the weather service. Dime-sized hail and wind gusts up to 50 mile an hour would be possible with these storms. 
Locations impacted include Marshville, Stratford, Portland, Niangua, Pittsburgh, Billsburg, excuse me, Bassville, Northview, Foods, Clarity, Rogersville, Fairgrove, Conway, Diggins, Elkhart, March, Oliver, and Olive and Longline. Lane. This also includes Interstate 44 between mile markers 86 and 122. Frequent cloud to ground lightning is occurring with these storms. Lightning can strike 10 miles away from a thunderstorm. Seek a safe shelter inside a building or a vehicle. This is KC0KP with the Southwest Regional Skyward. KD0KNL, thank you, Teresa. Uh, just, I was just going to try to watch the weather when, on, uh, on Ron Hurst talked the weather when the lightning took out the TV for a little bit, and so I'm glad you read that for me. <laughs> Yeah, we've had some good lightning down here and stuff, so uh, just try and monitor. Tokyo. At least I'll get another try at the weather at uh, 10 15. <laughs> Thank you, Teresa. Katie, you're okay and I'll clear. Okay, in case you're okay, Pete.
until 12.45 a.m. At 12.03 a.m., severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from near Dunaway to near Forum. Movement was northeast at 35 mi- I'm sorry, 55 miles per hour. 70 mile per hour wind gusts and quarter size hail can be expected from these storms. In addition, hail damage to vehicles and considerable tree damage is likely and wind damage to mobile homes, roofs, and outbuildings. Locations impacted include Eastern Joplin, Webb City, Roaring River State Park, Aurora, Castle, Kimberling City, Clever, Duquesne, Cell Knob, Pierce City, Carthage, Table Rock Lake, Monette, Mount Vernon, Silver Dollar City, Marionville, Granby, Crane, Sarcoxy, and Dunaway. This includes the following highways. Interstate 44 between mile markers 11 and 58, and Interstate 49 between mile markers 35 and 41. Please take cover from this storm at this time on the lowest floor of a building in, in an interior room. Intense thunderstorm lines can produce brief tornadoes and widespread significant wind damage. Although a tornado is not immediately likely, it is best to move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building as these storms may cause serious injury and significant property damage. A tornado watch remains in effect until 5 a.m. for most south of southwest Missouri. This is Katie Zero AEL with Southwest Missouri Regional Skywarn. N zero N W S repeater. Stations monitoring this is KD zero AEL and control for Southwest Missouri Regional Skywarn. Severe thunderstorm warning for northeastern McDonald has been canceled. The storms that prompted the warning have moved out of the warned area. Therefore, the warning has been canceled. Severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 12:45 a.m. For Northeast Newton, Western Christian, Stone, Barry, Lawrence, and Southeastern Jasper Counties. At 12.16 a.m., severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from six miles east of Carthage to near Berryville. Movement was northeast at 55 miles per hour. 70 mile per hour wind gusts and quarter size hail can be expected from these storms. Hail damage is also expected to vehicles and considerable wind Tree damage. Wind damage is also likely to mobile homes, roofs, and outbuildings. Locations impacted include Carthage, Roaring River State Park, Aurora, Cashville, Kimberling City, Clever, Shell Knob, Pierce City, Billings, Exeter, Table Rock Lake, Monette, Mount Vernon, Silver Dollar City, Marionville, Crane, Sarcoxy, Purdy, Reed Spring, and Miller. This includes the following highways, Interstate 44 between mile markers 20 and 58, and Interstate 49 near mile marker 39. Please take cover from these storms. They do have a history of of damage from the wind. Although a tornado is not immediately likely, tornadoes can spin up from these types of line storms. It is best to move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Tornado watch remains in effect until 5 a.m. for most of southwest Missouri. This is Katie Zero AEL with Southwest Missouri Regional Skywarn. This is monitoring. This is Katie Zero AEL Net Control for Southwest Missouri Regional Skywarn. At this time, I am going to be turning the net over to George T6 JT KJ6 TQ. Pardon me for getting that wrong. Um, and he will be your net control through the morning hours. This is Katie Zero AEL, and I shall be clear. N Zero N W S Repeater. Stations monitoring. This is KJ Six TQ with Southwest Missouri Regional Skywarn. The National Weather Service in Springfield has issued a tornado warning for northwestern Christian County, northwestern Stone County, and southeastern Lawrence County until 1 a.m. At 12.34 a.m., a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located over Aurora, moving northeast at 55 miles per hour. Hazards, tornadoes, and quarter-size hail can be expected. The source is radar-indicated. This is a radar-indicated rotation. 
Impacts flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. Locations impacted include Aurora, Clever, Billings, Marionville, and Crane. Tornadoes are extremely difficult to see and confirm at night. Do not wait to see or hear the tornado. Take cover now. Once again, a tornado warning is in effect for Northwestern Christian, Northwestern Stone, and Southeastern Lawrence County until 1 a.m. For Southwest Missouri Regional Skywarn, this is KJ6TQ. The National Weather Service in Springfield has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Christian County in southwestern Missouri, Taney County, and Greene County until 1.15 a.m. At 12.36 a.m., the severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from seven miles northwest of Miller to near Robertson Hollow, moving northeast at 55 miles per hour. Hazard 70 mile per hour wind gusts, the source is radar indicated. Expect considerable tree, uh, tree damage. Uh, damage is likely to mobile homes, roofs, and outbuildings. Locations impacted include Springfield, Ozark, Branson, Bull Shoals Lake, Table Rock State Park, Willard, Rogersville, Forsyth, Merriam Woods, Ash Grove, Nixa, Republic, Lake Taney Como, Table Rock Lake, Battlefield, Hollister, Strafford, Clever, Sparta, and Fair Grove. This includes Interstate 44 between mile markers 59 and 90. For your protection, move to an interior room uh, on the lowest floor of the building. Intense thunderstorm line can produce uh, brief tornadoes and widespread significant wind damage. Although a tornado is not immediately likely, it is best to move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. These storms may cause serious injury and significant property damage. Once again, a severe thunderstorm warning for Christian, Taney, and Greene counties until 1.15 a.m. For Southwest Missouri Regional Skywar, this is KJ-16. Continuing, uh, the National Weather Service continues the tornado warning for northwestern Christian, northwestern Stone, and southeastern Lawrence County. This tornado warning continues until 1 a.m. For Southwest Missouri Regional Skywarn, this is KJ 60. Thank you, George. 3868 here. Much, uh, uh, I'm sorry, thank you very much, Pat. Uh, yeah, we're getting numerous power flashes here in Branson, and I'm getting a lot of hits. We are on a UPS here, but uh, uh, Patty said Teresa's standing by, uh, so I may have to hand it off if we uh, lose power for more than about 20 minutes here. KJ6GQ. Okay, George. 3868, yeah, yeah, we'll be monitoring. We'll take it. We have to do. Okay, appreciate it. Uh, the repeater has about an hour of reserve, but my particular station here will only last about 20 minutes at this point. So thanks, Pat. Standing by, KJ6TQ for Southwest Missouri Skyward. Stations monitoring, this is KJ6TQ, Southwest Missouri Regional Skywar, and the National Weather Service in Springfield has issued a tornado warning for Western Christian County and Southwestern Green County, repeating Northwestern Christian, Southwestern Green County, this tornado warning until 1.15 a.m. At 12.47 a.m., a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located over Billings or over Republic, moving northeast at 55 miles per hour. Hazards, a tornado and quarter-sized hail expected. Sources radar indicated. Impacts flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. Locations impacted include Springfield, Republic, Clever, Brookline, Galloway, Nixa, Battlefield, Billings, and Boaz. This includes Interstate 44 between markers 63 and 79. Once again, tornado warning in effect for northwestern, Chris, northwestern Christian and southwestern Greene counties 
until 1.15 a.m. For Southwest Missouri Regional Skywarn, this is KJ6TQ. This is KB0TGA. Is Skywarn net up? Station calling. This is KJ6TQ acting as uh, net control for Southwest Missouri Regional Skywarn. Go ahead. I was just watching the TV and seeing a tornado headed this way. I didn't know whether you guys were up or not. Yes, sir, we are up and active. What is your location, and do you have any particular reports from uh, your location at this time, please? Well, home, it, it don't hear much. It's just uh, nice and calm, and uh, we are east of Springfield. Okay, copy that. Thank you very much. Uh, keep an eye on the weather. There is uh, This line is moving through towards your area. And uh, a, a tornado warning. We have uh, two of them in effect right now, one for Christian and Greene counties. Uh, that will go to 115. And the other one uh, for um, uh, that's going to end at 1 o'clock for the Aurora Monette area. So uh, keep an eye to the sky, and we'll be standing by. This is KJ-60. Monitoring. This is KJ6TQ with Southwest Missouri Regional Skywarn. A tornado warning effect until 1.15 a.m. for North Central Christian in southwestern Greene County. At 12.52 a.m., a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located over Republic, moving northeast at 35 miles per hour. Hazards include tornado and quarter-sized hail. Sources radar indicated impacts flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. Locations impacted include Springfield, Republic, Brookline, Nixa, Battlefield, and Galloway. This includes Interstate 44 between mile markers 6-3 and 7-9. Tornadoes are extremely difficult to see and confirm at night. Do not wait to see or hear a tornado take cover now. Once again, tornado warning continues for North Central Christian and Southwestern Greene counties until 1.15 a.m. The Southwest Missouri Regional Sky warns. This is KJ6TQ. Please stand by. More follows. Stations monitoring, this is KJ6TQ with Southwest Missouri Regional Skywarn. The National Weather Service in Springfield has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Ozark County and Douglas County until 2 a.m. At 12.56 a.m., severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from near Battlefield, 7 miles north of Taneyville, to 8 miles northeast of Diamond City, moving northeast at 60 miles per hour. Hazard 60 mile per hour wind gusts and penny size hail. Sources radar indicated. Impacts expect damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Bolshoals Lake, Ava, Bakersfield, Pontiac, Sundown, Wilhoyt, Tecumseh, Hardinville, Rome, Squires, Norfolk Lake, or Norfolk Lake, that is, Gainesville, Theodosia, Wasola, Brixey, Brushy Knob, Udall, Thornfield, Van Zandt, and Zanoni. Remain alert for a possible tornado. Tornadoes can develop quickly from severe thunderstorms. If you spot a tornado, go at once into the basement or small central room in a sturdy structure. Tornado watch remains in effect till 5 a.m. for the majority of our counties. The Southwest Missouri Regional Skywarn, this is KJ 16. KD0 UHF, this is KJ6TQ, uh, Net Control for Southwest Missouri Regional Skywarn. Go ahead there, Jonathan. Thank you, this is KD0 UHF. Uh, I'm in uh, near the corner of 65 Sunshine, about a quarter mile from there. Uh, reported stars going extreme heavy rain with small hail. Okay, Jonathan, can you estimate the size of the hail, and can you also let me know if there's any damage reported in your area, please? Thank you. This is KD0UHF. Uh, 
that uh, I would have been a slight rest right on the rain and the hail now. Uh, the, the hail was fairly small, it was about pea size, um, lasted for about three or four minutes, well, less than that, two minutes. But uh, contact made uh, damage, I'm sitting in my shelter. Okay, Jonathan, thank you very much for that update. Appreciate it. And uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, read another warning in a second here. I'll throw it back to you to clear, and uh, we'll appreciate your report. Is there UHF standing by? The National Weather Service in Springfield has issued a tornado warning for western Webster County, northeastern Christian County, and eastern Green County until 1.30 a.m. At 1.04 a.m., a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located over northeastern Springfield, moving northeast at 45 miles per hour. Hazards, tornado, and quarter size hail sources radar uh, indicated expect flying debris, and that'll be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. Locations impacted include Springfield, Marshfield, Rogersville, Fair Grove, Fordland, Ebenezer, Turners, Linden, Ozark, Willard, Stratford, Fremont Hills, Glidewell, Bassville, Northview, and Galloway. And this includes Interstate 44 between mile markers 71 and 101. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors in a mobile home or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Tornadoes are extremely difficult to see and confirm at night. Do not wait to see or hear the tornado. Take cover now. This cluster of thunderstorms is capable of producing tornadoes and widespread significant wind damage. Do not wait to see or hear the tornado. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Repeating tornado warning now until 1.30 a.m. This is issued for Western Webster, Northeastern Christian, and Eastern Green Counties. For Southwest Missouri Regional Skywarn, this is KJ6 TQ. KZEMD, this is KJ6TQ. Go ahead. All right, fine. You did a real good job. I've heard you before. Yeah, um, I'm right at the edge of uh, Western and Christian Line. I'm going to go out in the truck and uh, I'm going to see what I can see. Over. Okay, um, very good. Uh, do that uh, very carefully. Do understand you are under some warnings there, so uh, if you feel safe going out to do that, uh, do be careful and uh, remain situationally aware of uh, what's going on around you. Very fine. I've been doing this since 1977, so we know what goes on, so I'll back out of here and I'll catch you in a bit. Okay, ZMD, I'll be quick. Okay, thank you very much, and uh, we will um, stand by for any reports you might have, and we do appreciate it. Be safe out there. K0EMD will be clear with you. And this is kj 6 tq with Southwest Missouri Regional Skywarn. The National Weather Service in Springfield has issued a severe thunderstorm warning, um, and actually we're continuing this warning. It remains in effect uh, until 2 a.m. for Ozark and Douglas counties. At 1.06 a.m., severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from near Stratford to 10 miles southeast of Sparta to near Price Place, moving northeast at 60 miles per hour. Hazards expect six, uh, 70 mile per hour wind gusts and penny size hail. Trained weather spotters are the source of this warning. These storms have a history of producing wind damage in the Branson area. Expect considerable tree damage. Damage is likely to mobile homes, roofs, and outbuildings. Locations impacted. Bullshoals Lake, Ava, Bakersfield, Pontiac, Sundown, Wilhoyt, Tecumseh, Hardinville, Rome, Squires, Norfolk Lake, Gainesville, Theodosia, Wasola, Brixie, Brushy Knob, Udall, Thornfield, Van Zant, and Zanoni. Remain alert for a possible tornado. Tornadoes can develop quickly from severe thunderstorms. If you spot a tornado, go at once into the basement or small central room in a sturdy structure. Once again, severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 2 a.m. for Ozark and Douglas counties. For Southwest Missouri Regional Skywarns, this is KJ6GQ. You 
o'clock, November 0. Air Control, November 0, Charlie Echo Lima. Okay, Net Control acknowledging two stations. First station, you were very uh, scratchy. Please stand by. November 0, Charlie Echo Lima. Carl, please go ahead. Yeah, thank you, George. Give up. <clears throat> Uh, you're probably going to want to report this. Uh, I'm at uh, North Oak Grove and East Commercial Street. North Oak Grove and East Commercial Street, uh, just to the west of uh, Highway 65 between uh, Division and Kearney. And I am still having wind gusts. Uh, the highest one I measured was 63 miles an hour, and that was about four minutes ago. But I'm having consistent 55 to 60 mile an hour gusts at the moment, sir. Uh, probably for about the last 11 minutes. Over. I copy that, Carl. Continuous gusts between 5.5 five and 6.5 miles per hour. Um, and do you have any damage to report at that location right now? Not as of yet. I've seen literally uh, old trees <laughs> uh, bending more than halfway to the ground. It's pretty rough. Also, I am seeing some uh, blue-green... Uh, Ozone flashes uh, just to the north of me, probably within my subdivision. Uh, at least one or two transformers going. WA6JGM. WA6JGM, Pat, go ahead, please. Real quick, just to let you know, we got tornado sirens here in Ozark Metro area going. Copy that. So power flashes in your area, Carl, and uh, power flashes in Ozark. Let me get that type in, and then uh, we're going to update the tornado warning. Uh, thank you, Pat. I appreciate that. And by the way, I had no hail here, just very high wind and a bunch of uh, rain. So uh, it's hard to see anything up in the sky as far as uh, any kind of circulation. So I'm... Uh, I'm punching it up to a, a gust squall uh, as that thing came through here. Uh, the winds have died down here considerably right now. And there was the ELVAC in that. And zero X. Okay, this is KJ6TQ, net control with Southwest Missouri Regional Skywarn. We'll be clear with WPCKGM and N0CEL. The next station was a KM0S. Can I have your call sign again phonetically, and please go ahead with your report. Kilo November Zero X-ray. I'm on West The sirens are going off, and we have lots of lightning over. Okay, KN0X, copy the sirens are going off and uh, lots of lightning. I did not get your location. You fell out of the repeater when you uh, gave that. Can you repeat your location? And also, can you let me know if you're observing any damage in that location? Over. Zero, November, zero x-ray. No damage, lots of lightning, some rain, sirens uh, have stopped. Uh, but we are apparently under a warning. Uh, uh, that's, that's all I had to report is that the sirens are going off, and uh, it's quite disturbing. Over. Okay, KN0X, thank you for your report, and uh, we appreciate that. Is that a very close lightning? Please stand by. This is kj 6 Station in Stratford, please go ahead with your report and uh, please repeat your call sign. Whiskey Zero, Delta, Foxtrot, Echo. Uh, sirens have quit out here for some reason. Over. Okay, copy that. Um, stand by. I do have an update to read uh, and uh, we'll get back to you in just a second. If, if you do have any damage to report or any, anything uh, that you're observing, just let me know. But stand by, please. This is KJ6TQ. We're confirming now that the tornado warning for northeastern Christian County has been canceled. The tornadic thunderstorm, which prompted the warning, has been in the area. Therefore, the warning has been canceled. A tornado watch remains at 5 a.m. southwestern Missouri. A tornado, tornado warning remaining in effect now until 1.30 a.m. for western and eastern Kane counties. At 1.11 a.m., the thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located near Stratford. 
expected tornado and quarter size hail is the hazard. Sources radar indicated rotation. Flying debris that will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur, and tree damage is likely. Again, tornado warning remaining in effect until 1.30 a.m. for western Webster and northeastern Greene counties. For Southwest Missouri Regional Skywarn, this is KJ6TQ. Uh, Whiskey Zero, Delta Fox Echo in uh, Stratford. Uh, uh, the sirens may be in the process of cycling at this time. Uh, do you have any damage or any uh, specific reports from your location? Okay. I mean, no, we just had a lot of rain here, but uh, I was uh, I was uh, wondering about the sirens going off. Uh, and we've had some wind, but nothing spectacular. Okay, very good. Thank you for your update. If you do observe the uh, specific damage, if another please let us know, and uh, we will appreciate your report. Please. APS, Seymour, this is KJ, uh, Net Control, Sam, uh, any uh, uh, observations, anything happening in your area at this time, please play. It's a calm here, uh, George, lighting off to the west, uh, nothing happening right here at the moment, real calm. Uh, anyway, uh, keep up the good work, might need an option, but <laughs> 30 zero APS, we're monitoring. My roof didn't blow off in here. It's not like it's going to do that about uh, 20 minutes. Thank you very much. Uh, this is KJ6TQ, Net Control, standing by. Uh, station ending in Romeo Tango. Can I get your full call sign again? We copy that you're in Marshfield. Please go ahead. Zero RT, Ralph, Marshfield. Uh, the storm just hit, just hit just now. Got high winds. Perhaps 50 miles an hour or so, and heavy rain just struck Marshfield. Good serve. Okay, copy that the storm has uh, arrived in your area in Marshfield. Uh, Ralph, please let us know if you get any uh, damage or any other uh, significant reports. And also, can I verify you're clipping off, at least from my end here, the first uh, part of your call sign? Is it Kilo Zero Romeo Tango? Or what is the prefix specifically? Over. November zero, N zero RT. Okay, Ralph. Thank you very much. N zero RT. I got it that time lot here. I appreciate your report. Thanks for checking in with us. And if you have anything uh, pop up in that area, please let us know. That's three. That's your RT, please. Delta net control. K zero OLD, this is KJ six TQ. Please go ahead. Roger at uh, Katrina or Catherine and Greg Road. There's about a six inch pine tree uh, down the uh, down in the street here. Um, I'm getting ready to call the city uh, and let them know about it. There, Roger. Okay, copy. Uh, Catherine and Greg Road, a six-inch pine tree is down across the road, and is this in uh, Nixa? Over. Roger, that's correct. Okay, Brian, thank you very much for that report. I'll send that into the weather office. View zero WSA net control. Whiskey Zero, Whiskey Sierra Alpha, if you could confirm that call sign. This is Skywar Net Control, please go ahead. This is Whiskey Zero, Whiskey Sierra Alpha, uh, southeast side of Marshfield. We are getting heavy gusts of wind, light debris, and sideways rain. Okay, copy that. W0 WSA, heavy wind gusts and sideways rain. Uh, please call us back if you have any uh, damage or anything specific to report, and we will get that into the weather office. I appreciate it. K0 JSG. Uh, the Kilo Echo Zero station, uh, please try one more time and give me your call sign phonetically. Kilo 
Delta Zero, Juliet Foxtrot Delta. This is Jig from Elplin. We have uh, heavy wind gusts and sideways rain. Okay, KD Zero, JFD, thank you very much for your report from Elkland, and uh, please stand by. We do have a new tornado warning at this time. The National Weather Service in Springfield has issued a tornado warning for northwestern Webster County, so uh, southern Dallas County, and northeastern Greene County. This is until 2 a.m. At 1.23 a.m., a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located near Fair Grove, or nine miles north of Stratford, moving northeast at 40 miles per hour. Hazards include a tornado and quarter-sized hail. Source is radar-indicated rotation. Impacts flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. Locations impacted include Fairgrove, Olive, Foose, Charity, Conway, Elkland, and March. This includes Interstate 44 between mile markers 102 and 111. Tornadoes are extremely difficult to see and confirm at night. Do not wait to see or hear the tornado. Take cover now. Now, once again, new tornado warning in effect until 2 o'clock for northwestern Webster, southern Dallas, and northeastern Greene County. The Southwest Missouri Regional Skywarn. This is KJ6TQ. Please stand by. The National Weather Service in Springfield has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Wright County and McLeod County until 2.30 a.m. At 23 a.m., severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from near Pleasant Hope to Marshfield to Seymour to eight miles east of Ava, moving northeast at 65 miles per hour. Hazard 60 mile per hour wind gusts, source law enforcement. These storms have a long history of producing wind damage. Expect damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Uh, locations impacted include Lebanon, Mountain Grove, Mansfield, Dawson, Hartville, Stoutland, Competition, Maine, Grove Springs, Sleeper, Bennett Springs State Park, Morgan, Conway, Norwood, Phillipsburg, Twin Bridges, Eldridge, Lynchburg, Graff, and Falcon. And this includes Interstate 44 between mile markers 112 and 143. Once again, a new severe thunderstorm warning for Wright County and McLean counties until 2.30 a.m. Stand by, I got two more. KJ6TQ continuing the tornado warning for Webster, or West, uh, rather Western Webster and Northeastern Green counties will expire at 1.30 a.m. The storm which prompted the warning has moved out of the area, therefore the warning will be allowed to expire. Stand by, one more. KJ6TQ continuing the severe thunderstorm warning for Eastern St. Clair County will expire at 1.30 a.m. Now, the storms which prompted this warning have moved out of the area, therefore the warning will be allowed to expire. However, heavy rain is still possible with these thunderstorms. To report severe weather, contact your nearest law enforcement agency or report it directly to us here at Southwest Missouri Regional Skywarn. Either of us will relay the report to the National Weather Service. For Southwest Missouri Regional Skywarn, this is kj 6 tq APS, this is KJ6TQ. Go ahead, Sam. We had the uh, high winds here about 10 minutes ago, uh, 50 to 60 gusts, I would assume. Uh, very strong wind. Uh, it's kind of backed off right now, though. Back to you, George. Uh, KD0 APS. Okay, Sam, copy that. Any particular uh, damage or uh, effects from the wind that uh, you want to report?
this is KJ6GQ continuing. The National Weather Service in Springfield has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Benton County until 2.30 a.m. At 1.29 a.m., severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from 10 miles west of Warsaw to near Wheatland, moving northeast at 60 miles per hour. Hazard 60 mile per hour wind gusts, source radar indicated, impacts expect damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Truman Lake, Warsaw, Coal Camp, Lakeview Heights, Crockerville, Fristo, Racket, Mora, Hestain, Truman State Park, Lincoln, Palo Pinto, Brandon, Zora, Nobby, Edmondson, Edwards, and Whitakerville. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Once again, severe thunderstorm warning now for Benton County until 2.30 a.m. The Southwest Missouri Regional Skywarn, this is KJ-6 TQ. KJ-6 TQ, K0EMF. K0EMF, if you could stand by for just a second, I got a tornado warning to read at this time. The National Weather Service in Springfield has issued a tornado warning for East Central Webster County and Wright County until 2 a.m. At 1.30 a.m., a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located 7 miles northeast of Seymour or 14 miles southeast of Marshfield, moving northeast at 45 miles per hour. Hazards include a tornado and a quarter-sized hail. Sources radar indicated impacts flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. Locations impacted include Mansfield, Duncan, Grove Spring, Graff, Hartville, Maines, and Odin. Tornadoes are extremely difficult to see and confirm at night. Do not wait to see or hear the tornado. Take cover now. This cluster of thunderstorms is capable of producing tornadoes and widespread significant wind damage. Do not wait to see or hear the tornado. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of the building. Once again, new tornado warning now. East Central Webster, Wright County, as well, until 2 a.m. Stand by. More to follow. KJ6 TQ continuing. The tornado warning for northeastern Greene County is now canceled. The tornadic thunderstorm which prompted the warning has moved out of the warned area. Therefore, the warning has been canceled. Uh, meanwhile, this uh, tornado warning continues until 2 a.m. for northwestern Webster and southern Dallas counties. At 1.31 a.m., a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located nine miles northeast of Fair Grove or 10 miles northwest of Marshfield, moving northeast at 40 miles per hour. Hazards, tornado, and quarter-sized hail can be expected. Sources radar indicated. Impacts, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur, and tree damage is likely. Impact to the location. Thank you, Cole. 80 APS. Uh, Locations impacted include Conway, March, Elkland, and Charity, and this includes Interstate 44 between mile markers 105 and 111. Net Control, KD0 APS. Uh, KD0 APS, uh, go ahead, please. Yeah, tornado sirens going off here in Seymour. Okay, Sam, copy that. Uh, the tornado warnings, the uh, audible and see more. I'll, uh, I'll report that in. I appreciate it. So, Delta Zero, Julia Foxtrot, Delta, in from Elkland. KD Zero, JFD in Elkland. Please go ahead. Right now, I have a very heavy wind, uh, lawn furniture blowing sideways, sideways rain. Uh, no big damage, I can say, but uh, it's blowing pretty hard here. Okay, copy that, uh, Dick. I appreciate the update. Again, if there's any damage significant you report, just let us know, and we will uh, go ahead and um, pass this on to the Weather Service. KA0, KDW. KA0 KDW, uh, Brad, I do have a new warning to read, but uh, please go ahead. 40 to 50 mile an hour estimated wind gust at my location, 5.5 west of Lewisburg. 5.5 west of Lewisburg, 
40 to 50 mile an hour winds, K, 0 KDW. Okay, Brad, thank you very much for that update. I'll get that into the forecast office in just a moment. Uh, the uh, National Weather Service in Springfield has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Howell and Texas counties until 2.30 a.m. At 1.32 a.m., severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from near Niangua to near Mansfield to 15 miles northeast of Gainesville to near Bakersfield, moving east at 55 miles per hour. Hazard 70 mile per hour wind gusts, sources law enforcement. These storms have a long history of producing wind damage across southern Missouri. Expect considerable tree damage. Damage is likely to mobile homes, roofs, and outbuildings. Remain alert for a possible tornado. Tornadoes can uh, develop quickly from severe thunderstorms. If you spot a tornado, go at once into the basement or small central room in a sturdy structure. Once again, severe thunderstorm warning now for Howell and Texas counties until 2.30 a.m. For Southwest Missouri Regional Skywarn, this is KJ6TQ. Uh, Pat, WA6JGM, are you on frequency at this time? Yes, I am, sir, WA6JGM. Thank you, Pat. Um, should I bring in the uh, Texas County repeaters at this time since they've now issued a warning for their location? Yes, sir. Okay, I'm having trouble hearing the 4-9 come back to me. I can send the codes. If you could confirm uh, whether they picked up the codes and are connected, I'd appreciate it. Stand by, please. I sent the codes through. I did hear the touch tones, but I did not hear anything come back from Texas County. Did you hear any of those repeaters respond? Over. Negative. I did not. Okay. Um, they're just probably not picking up the RF signal out of Fordland then, so we're probably going to have to either let them opt in manually or uh, they'll be off the network. Then. I'll probably off them in manually. Whoa, okay, hey, whoa. Just about got hit over here. I saw the flash happen out my window when uh, when you said that. Okay, Pat, thank you very much. I'm going to go ahead and uh, catch up with some of these updates here. We'll be standing by wa 6 AM. All right, thank you very much, Pat. This is KJ6GQ with Southwest Missouri Regional Skywarn. The National Weather Service has um, continued severe thunderstorm warning until 2 a.m. for Hickory and northeastern Polk counties at 5 a.m. Severe thunderstorm yeah. were located along a line extending from 8 miles north of Wheatland to near Buffalo, moving north at 65 miles per hour. Stand by, more follows. Zero UCA, net control. Kilo Delta Zero Uniform Charlie Alpha, this is Skyward Net Control. Please go ahead. I am currently mobile eastbound on I-44 at mile marker 97. Can you please go over the uh, impact to uh, I-44 and around mile marker 100, I believe it was? Okay, copy that. Stand by. Let me pull up the specific, um, here we go, uh, mile markers 100 to 109. It is a uh, severe thunderstorm warning, and that's going to be in effect for about another 20 minutes. Expect up to 70 mile per hour wind gusts, and these are confirmed by trained weather spotters. Over. Okay, drive carefully and uh, be safe out there on the roads. Uh, this is KJ6TQ, Skywalk Control, standing by. 
stations monitoring. This is KJ6GQ with Southwest Missouri Regional Skywarn. A tornado warning remains in effect until 2 a.m. for Wright County. At 1.42 a.m., a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located near Hartville, or 20 miles east of Marshfield, moving northeast at 45 miles per hour. Hazards a tornado and quarter-size hail. Sources radar indicated impacts flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed and expect damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles along with tree damage as well. Locations impacted include Hartville, Grove Spring, Mains, and Graff. Tornadoes are extremely difficult to see and confirm at night. Do not wait to see or hear the tornado. Take cover now. This cluster of thunderstorms is capable of producing tornadoes and widespread significant wind damage. Do not wait to see or hear the tornado. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Repeating, the tornado warning remains in effect until 2 a.m. And this is for Wright County. For Southwest Missouri Regional Skywarn, this is KJ6TQ. Control KD0 UHF. KD0 UHF, this is KJ6TQ Skywarn Net Control. Please go ahead. This is KD0 UHF. Um, quite a good report from uh, the southeast Springfield area. I've just uh, driven around the last few minutes, well, last half an hour, I guess. Uh, no really significant damage, um, just light branches down on the roads. Um, pooling of water in some places, but otherwise uh, no significant damage observed. Okay, Jonathan, that's good news, and I appreciate the update. Thank you very much. KD8 UHF is uh, back at my home base and will be uh, uh, off the air. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Jonathan. This is KJ6TQ, Net Control, standing by. Kilo Delta Zero, Uniform Charlie Alpha, net control. KD Zero UCA, this is KJ Six TQ Skyward Net Control. Please go ahead. Uh, calling in three four a semi that has been blown off the road at mile marker one oh four point six. Repeating semi blown off the road. Uh, east town lane. Mile marker 104.6. Okay, we copy the semi truck has been blown off the road eastbound 44 at mile marker 104.6. Is that a copy? That is correct. Okay, are there emergency crews on the scene, or if not, are you able to call 911, or do you need uh, someone on this end to report this to law enforcement? Over. At this point, it looks like a uh, heavy duty tow truck would be able to get him going again. Um, I am not in a position to make any phone call. Uh, if they contact law, you may want to contact law enforcement to get that guy some help. Okay, KD0 UCA, copy that. I've just submitted this to the forecast office, and uh, please stand. Uh, Pat, WA6JGM, if you're on frequency, um, what do you advise regarding uh, reporting this semi off the road? Uh, if I call 911, it's going to go to Taney County here. Uh, what do you advise there, Pat, if you're monitoring? Uh, Teresa, KC0 OKP, and Ava, are you monitoring at this time? This is kj 6 Go ahead, George. Thank you, Teresa. I had a gentleman driving a truck, uh, Kilo Delta Zero, Uniform Charlie Alpha. He's east on I-44 at uh, mile marker 104.6. He's reporting that a semi has been blown off the road, and he's not able to call 911 at this time. If I dial 911, I'm going to go into Taney County. What do you recommend we do for reporting this? I have submitted it to the forecast office on chat. Over. Look up Green County Troop D and call headquarters up there and give them the report. Okay, is this something that you're able to do from your location right now? Over. Looking it up.
right now, and I'll call them and then let you know that when I get a hold of them. Okay, copy that. Do you need me to repeat the specifics? Over. Sound 44, 104.6, mile post. QSL, eastbound 44, mile marker 104.6. Thank you, Teresa. I really appreciate your help. No problem. I'm going to call him now. KK6, KQ, K0, K0 EMF, uh, Don, I'm sorry we lost you in the shuffle in there. This is crazy this morning. Please go ahead. The station's still out there that has cell phone capability. Dial up uh, star 55. Star 55, that'll take them right into the highway patrol. Yeah, copy that, Don. He says he's unable to, uh, to dial right now. He's driving a big rig himself. In any event, we have one of our spotters, uh, uh, Teresa, our net control operators, I should say, is uh, is on the line right now reporting it. Over. Roger that. KGOMF out. Okay, Don, thank you. Zero OKP, the net control. KC0 OKP, this is KJ6TQ. Hello, Teresa. State Patrol's been notified, they'll get someone in route. And they said thank you for... Okay, Teresa, thank you so much for doing this. And I think maybe at our next spotter training we need to go over uh, procedures for, for doing this. Uh, because uh, it's definitely appreciated. If I call 911, it's going to go to Taney County Sheriff and they're going to not know what I'm talking about. Done that once before for up in that area. We just called the troop area and relayed the message. And then I just give them my name and phone number. That way they've got it for their uh, log and told them how it came through. Okay. Well, I really appreciate your help, Teresa. And it's um, great knowing that you're out there. I may, have, may take a break here because uh, this has been uh, it's been crazy, but I'm glad it's fun. Alright, copy that, Teresa. Well, thank you. I'll, um, I'm good for now, but I will uh, give you a shout in a little bit uh, when I need to take a break. So, KC0 OKP, this is KJ6 TQ. Thank you very much for your help. K0 EMD. Uh, K0 EMD. Let's go ahead. This is KJ6 TQ, net control. Small debris on the roadways, and are you, is this east of Rogersville? Over. I had been anyways, K zero D. But uh, yeah, yeah, well, up down the highway here, so nothing real big, small stuff. appreciate that. Uh, and uh, the other station, I do have a new tornado warning. Can you stand by for just a second, please? National Weather Service in Springfield has issued a new tornado warning now for southwestern Shannon, northeastern Howell, and southeastern Texas counties until 2.30 a.m. At 1.56 a.m., a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado is located eight miles southwest of Mountain View, moving northeast at 40 miles per hour. Hazards, tornado, and quarter size hail. Radar indicated rotation as the source. Impact flying debris will be dangerous to those uh, caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. Locations impacted include Mountain View, Montier, White Church, Arrow, Willow Springs, Peace Valley, Terracita, and Pine 
Tornadoes are extremely difficult to see and confirm at night. Do not wait to see or hear the tornado. Take cover now. This cluster of thunderstorms is capable of producing tornadoes and widespread significant wind damage. Do not wait to see or hear the tornado. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Repeating, a new tornado warning now in effect for southwestern Shannon, northeastern Howell, southeastern Texas counties until 2.30 a.m. The Southwest Missouri Regional Skywarn, this is KJ6TQ, uh, the station who uh, just called in right before I read the warning. Please go ahead. KD0JSD. Okay, KD0JSD, uh, please go ahead. Uh, roger that, Net Control. I've got a uh, report by phone of some uh, debris at, in the Elkland area. I'm right now mobile, and I'm over there going over there to see if I see anything, and I'll keep you advised. Okay, if you can, when you find this debris, if you can let us know the size of it, the type of debris, and whether it's blocking any specific roadways and what those roads are, we would appreciate those specifics, and we will forward them to the weather office. Thank you very much. Roger that. KA0KDW. KA0KDW, this is KJ6TQ. Please go ahead. Thanks for your assistance tonight. Also, uh, Overheard State is en route to that tractor trailer on I-44. They have uh, notified Webster County, and I am securing 73-KA-0-KDW. All right, copy that, uh, Brad. Thanks very much for standing by for us up in uh, Polk County. Appreciate you, and uh, uh, you have a, a good night. Uh, this is KJ-62, Skyward Net Control, standing by. Uh, for stations in the Branson Tri Lakes area, um, we are having technical difficulties with the link back from Portland, and that is the result of why you're only hearing one side of the uh, of the traffic, and that is uh, my traffic at this time, and you're not hearing any others. We do apologize for uh, this technical difficulty. We are trying to uh, iron this out. Uh, this is KJ 62 Southwest Missouri Regional Southwest standing by. KJ6TQ, KE0JGI. Hey, George. Over at the 1100 block of Greg Road in Nixa. A couple of trees down across the roadway. Law enforcement's already on the scene, but I thought I'd let you send it into the NWS. Uh, it looks like six inch trees, but big enough that it covers the roadway. Okay, Sean, thank you for that. And actually, earlier, Brian K0OLD reported at Catherine and Greg, was it Katrina or Catherine? He wasn't sure that there were some about six-inch pine trees down. Now, is this the same location on Greg, or is this a new uh, location? Now, that would be the same one. I didn't hear him earlier. That's the intersection right where I was. So, same thing. Thank you. K0JGI. Okay, Sean, no worries. Better to have and not need. I appreciate the update, and uh, we did uh, we did send that in earlier, so appreciate you. We'll be clear with KE0JGI. This is KJ6TQ, net control. Please stand by for an update. The National Weather Service in Springfield continues the tornado warning until 2.30 a.m. for southwestern Shannon and north and southeastern Texas counties. At 2.04 a.m., a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located over Mountain View, moving northeast at 45 miles per hour. Uh, hazards, a tornado and quarter-sized hail, sources radar indicated, and impacts flying debris uh, will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur and uh, tree damage is likely as well. This impacts Mountain View, Peace Valley, Teresita, Montier, Errol, and Pine Crest. Again, this is a continuation of a, of a tornado warning for those areas until 2.30 a.m. Please stand by for a new tornado warning. KJ-62 continuing National Weather Service issuing a new tornado warning at this time for Northern Texas County 
until 2.30 a.m. At 2.05 a.m., a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located near Houston, moving northeast at 45 miles per hour. Hazards tornado and quarter size hail source radar indicated rotation. Impacts flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. Locations impacted include Licking, Raymondville, Prescott, Houston, and the Cyrus. Tornadoes are extremely difficult to see and to confirm at night. Do not wait to see or hear the tornado. Take cover now. This cluster of thunder is capable of producing tornadoes and widespread significant wind damage. I do not wait to see or hear the tornado for your protection. Interior room on the lowest building. We're repeating a new tornado warning now in effect for northern Texas County until 2.30 a.m. The Southwest Missouri Regional Skywarn is KD0JFD. KD0JSD. KD0JSG, please go ahead. Roger that. We've got damage in the Elkland area. Uh, Pleasant Church Road is blocked at the Pleasant uh, uh, Church Cemetery on 38. It's uh, got a tree down across that. We've got a house about a mile from there that has got, had the roof uh, partially uh, blown up and then back down. So we've got major damage to one house. And right now I don't see anything else, but it uh, looks like something happened in through here. So anyway, uh, if I see anything else, I'll report. Okay, we copy KD0JSG. I copy a house that had its roof par partially blown off. Also, uh, damage on Pleasant Church Road. It's blocked with a tree down. Can I get the exact location on Pleasant Church Road where this tree is blocking traffic over? Uh, roger that. Let me get back to it. I've already went past it. I'll come back to it. Okay, or an approximate location will do, but uh, whatever you can give uh, me and I will get this into the forecast office. I appreciate it. It would be approximately two miles uh, south of Elkland on 38. I guess it would be East 38, and uh, it's at the Pleasant Grove Church Cemetery. And it's that road there. I believe it's Pleasant Church. Uh, it, I don't know. It may not be, but it's, it's two miles uh from Elkland on 38 East at the cemetery, Pleasant, uh, Pleasant Grove Cemetery. Okay, so I copy that this is on Pleasant Church Road, approximately two miles east of Elkland, and it is blocked by a downed tree. Is that correct? That's a roger. I'll, I'll confirm the location here as soon as I get turned around. Okay, we'll stand by for that confirmation. This is KJ-60. Sky one net control. Net control, KD zero APS. KD zero APS, this is KJ sixty two. Please go ahead, Sam. Yeah, we're just gonna get off frequency here. Uh, George, thanks for all you do. Really appreciate it. Uh, we'll catch you another time. KD zero APS, we're clear. Okay, uh, Sam, I appreciate you being out there and uh, letting us know what's going on. Apparently, this has been a, uh, a very horrible night for some folks in certain areas, uh, so we're uh, appreciating all the reports we can get. And we have a new tornado warning. Please stand by. The National Weather Service in Springfield has now issued a, a new tornado warning for northwestern Shannon County and east central Texas County. This is until 2.45 a.m. At 2.10 a.m., a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located near Raymondville, or nine miles southeast of Houston, moving northeast at 40 miles per hour. Hazard, the tornado, and quarter-sized hail, source radar indicated, and impacts flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is also likely. Locations impacted include Raymondville, Acres, Eunice, Yukon, and Hartshorn. Uh, tornadoes are extremely difficult to see and confirm at night. Do not wait to see or hear the tornado. Take cover now. Repeating new tornado warning now in effect for northwestern Shannon and east central Texas counties until 2.45 a.m. For Southwest Missouri Regional Skywarn, this is KJ-60Q. 
KJ sixty Q K zero M A T. K E zero M A G. This is KJ six T Q. Please go ahead. Yeah, next control. Look what I'm uh, clear here. I'll be secure by station. Okay, Tyler. Thank you. We copy that you're securing for the night. Uh, we appreciate you standing by for us. K zero J F D. Zero JSD, uh, this is KJ Six TQ. Uh, please go ahead, and do you have that uh, cross street on the, on Pleasant Church Road? Oh, Roger that. It's at Pleasant Church Road and intersection with 38, right at the cemetery. There's a Pleasant Grove Cemetery there. It's Pleasant Church Road intersecting with East 38 uh, at the Pleasant Grove Cemetery. It's a uh, tree blocking the road totally. Okay, uh, thank you very much, KD0JSG. I'm going to go ahead and send that into the forecast office right now. KE0LNO calling net control with a damage report for Republic. KE0LNO, this is KJ6TQ. I copy you. Uh, really clearly now. Thank you for uh, getting your audio fixed, and please go ahead with your damage report. Net Control, uh, took a drive around the city, noticed minor to moderate damage to trees, no significant road blockages, significant runoff uh, with rain from the roadways, but drainage seems to be holding it. Power and utilities are all functioning. Okay, copy that. So just some minor to moderate damage to trees, so just some uh, light limbs and twigs blown off. Uh, water's running off okay, no flooding reported. Uh, thank you very much for that update. I appreciate it. KJ6TQ continuing the National Weather Service in Springfield has issued a tornado warning for central Shannon County in south-central Missouri until 2.45 a.m., at 2.15 a.m., a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located near Summersville, or 12 miles northeast of Mountain View, moving northeast at 50 miles per hour. Expect uh, hazards uh, of a tornado and quarter-sized hail. Sources radar indicated rotation. Impacts flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. Locations impacted include Eminence, West Eminence, Midridge, Round Spring, and Alley Spring. Tornadoes are extremely difficult to see and confirm at night. Do not wait to see or hear this tornado. Take cover now. And this cluster of thunderstorms is capable of producing tornadoes and widespread right spread significant wind damage. Again, a new tornado warning now for central Shannon County until 2.45 a.m. for Southwest Missouri Regional Skywarn. This is KJ6TQ. The National Weather Service in Springfield has canceled the tornado warning for northern Texas County. Uh, the storm which prompted the warning has weakened below severe limits and no longer appears capable of producing a tornado. Therefore, the warning has been canceled. Stand by for more. A severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 2.30 a.m. for Benton County. At 2.16 a.m., severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from 7 miles east of Green Ridge to near Stover, moving north at 60 miles per hour. Hazard 60 mile per hour wind gust source radar indicated impacts expect damage to roofs, siding, and trees. And uh, locations impacted include Truman Lake, Warsaw, Cole Camp, Lakeview Heights, Crockerville, Fristo, Racket, Mora, Hestain, Truman State Park, Lincoln, Palo Pinto, Brandon, Sora, Nobby, Edmondson, Edwardsville, and Whitakerville. Once again, severe thunderstorm warning continuing until 2.30 a.m. for Benton County. Stand by. More to follow. KJ-60 Q continuing. The severe thunderstorm warning for Laclede County is now canceled. The storms which prompted the warning have moved out of the area, and therefore this warning has been canceled. canceled. However, heavy rain is still possible with these thunderstorms. Stand by. One more. KJ-60 Q continuing. National Weather Service has canceled the tornado warning for West Central Shannon County. 
The storm which prompted the warning has moved out of that area, therefore that particular warning has been canceled. Remember, a tornado watch does remain in effect for several of our counties until 5 a.m. Stand by, one more. HA-60Q continuing, a severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 2.45 a.m. And this is for Miller, Pulaski, and eastern Camden and Morgan counties. At 2.19 a.m., severe thunderstorms were located along the line extending from 7 miles south of Stover to near Osage Beach to 14 miles southwest of Fort Leonard Wood, moving northeast at 60 miles per hour. Hazard 60 mile per hour wind gusts, sources radar indicated, impacts expect damage to roofs, siding, and trees. And this covers Interstate 44 between mile markers 145 and 168. Repeating, this is a continuation of the severe thunderstorm warning for Miller, Pulaski, and eastern Camden and Morgan counties. For Southwest Missouri Regional Skywarn, this is KJ6TQ. KB0 UCA, net control. KB0 UCA, this is uh, KJ6 GQ Skywarn net control. Please go ahead. Reporting uh, moderate ponding, ponding on the road in Lebanon, Missouri. Uh, the road is Copeland, is Cohen Road between Copeland and Mill Creek. Uh, repeating. Moderate ponding in Lebanon, Missouri. Cohen Drive between Copeland and Mill Creek. Okay, let me go ahead and repeat this to you. I copy moderate ponding of water on Cohen Road between Copeland and Mill Creek, and this is in the Lebanon area, correct? It is not Coke, um, not Copeland like the drink, Copeland like coping with stress. Copy. Uh, Copeland, as in Charlie, Oscar, Papa, Echo, Copeland, and Mill Creek. Uh, there we copy. Thank you very much, and I'll go ahead and send that into the forecast office. This is KJ6TQ with uh, Southwest Missouri Regional Skywarn. The National Weather Service has canceled the severe thunderstorm warning for Howell County. The storms which prompted the warning have moved out of the warned area. Therefore, the warning for that location has been canceled. In the meantime, the severe thunderstorm warning from these cells remains in effect until 2.30 a.m. for eastern Texas County. At 2.21 a.m., severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from 7 miles west of Licking to 6 miles south of Raymondville to 10 miles south of Birch Tree to 6 miles south of Alton, moving east at 55 miles per hour. Hazard 70 mile per hour wind gusts. This is law enforcement confirmed. These storms have produced wind damage to trees and structures in a swath across southern Missouri. Expect considerable tree damage. The damage is likely to mobile homes, roofs, and outbuildings. Impacted locations include Licking, Raymondville, Hartshorn, Pinecrest, Eunice, Summersville, Yukon, Hazleton, and Prescott. Remain alert for a possible tornado. Tornadoes can develop quickly from severe thunderstorms. If you spot a tornado, go at once into the basement or small central room in your sturdy structure. Once again, severe thunderstorm warning remaining in effect until 2.30 a.m. for eastern Texas County. Stand by, more follow. KJ6TQ continuing the severe thunderstorm warning for Benton County will be allowed to expire in five minutes at 2.30 a.m. The storms which prompted the warning have moved out of the area. Therefore, the warning will be allowed to expire. However, heavy rain is still possible with these thunderstorms. Stand by. One more. KJ6TQ continuing. The tornado warning remains in effect until 2.45 a.m. for northeastern Shannon County. At 2.23 a.m., a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located near Eminence, or 19 miles northeast of Mountain View, moving northeast at 50 miles per hour. Hazards, a tornado and quarter-sized hail. Sources, radar indicated rotation. Impacts, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. Locations impacted include Eminence, West Eminence, Midridge, Round Spring, and Alley Spring. 
Once again, tornado warning remains in effect until 2.45 a.m. for northeastern Shannon County. For Southwest Missouri Regional Skyward, this is KJ-16. Okay, uh, KC zero OKP Teresa, um, how are things looking in uh, Ava this morning? Kelly, we'll get this back in in just a second. Uh, just fine. We've got a few more reports with some stuff down uh, trees down out in the county of power lines. Uh, are you needing a break? You know, to be honest, I could definitely use a break. So if you're able to take over, do you think you could uh, hang in there for about an hour or so, and then I could take back over from you if things are still active? Uh, how does that sound? Sounds good. Yep, I've got everything back up and everything ready. So, yep, we can take over for you. You can just let them know they're on chat, and we'll just go ahead and take over. All right, Teresa, thank you so much for being here and waking me up this morning. I, I really owe you, and uh, I'll uh, check in with you in about an hour, and uh, I'm going to go drink some water. <laughs> this is KJ6TQ turning net control over to Teresa, KC0OKP. Uh, this is KC0OKP with Southwest Regional Skywarn. The tornado warning for northwestern Shannon and east central Texas County is canceled. The storm which prompted the warning has weakened below severe limits and no longer appears capable of producing a tornado. Therefore, the warning has been canceled. A tornado watch still remains in effect till 5 a.m. This is KC0KP. KC0KP, the Southwest Regional Skyward. The severe thunderstorm warning for Oregon County is canceled. The storm which prompted the warning has moved out of the warned area, therefore the warning has been canceled. Tornado warning, excuse me, tornado watch remains in, remains in effect till 5 a.m. for South Central Missouri. Stand by for more. The severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 3 a.m. for northeastern Shannon County. At 2.40 a.m., severe thunderstorms were located along the line extending from 10 miles south of Bunker to 9 miles northwest of Van Buren to near Handy, moving east of 50 miles an hour. Hazards of 70 mile an hour wind gusts. These storms have a long history of producing damage across southern Missouri. Source is law enforcement. Impact is expect considerable tree damage. Damage is likely to mobile homes, roofs, and outbuildings. This still includes uh, Midridge. Uh, remain alert for possible tornadoes. Tornadoes can develop quickly from severe thunderstorms. This is KC0 KP. Zero, UCA, control. Okay, P, go ahead. Well, Miss Teresa, it looks like uh, we're uh, places where I'll be is going to be cleared up for the rest of the night. I'm going to go ahead and clear off that to link. Have a great morning. Be careful. KD zero, UCA, I'll be clear. Thanks for being on there and monitoring and helping out and yeah, get some rest and everything. And yeah, most of it we just got one thunderstorm that's over in Phelps County that we're watching. So and I've got one fire department that's still out working on some tree removal, so we're gonna be monitoring. Thanks again, K Zero K P. K Zero K P with Southwest Regional Skywars. The National Weather Service has canceled Tornado Watch 431 for the following areas in Missouri. In South Central Missouri, Dent, Shannon, Powell, Texas, and Oregon. Southwest Missouri, Dallas, McLeod, and Wright. This is KC0 KP. Repeat, the National Weather Service has canceled the Tornado Watch. This is KC0 KP. Can you confirm, did those codes go through and did it say normal traffic? Codes went through and it said normal traffic. Okay, 
So we're good to go. I don't think Houston and Lake King came up. I tried to raise them, but I didn't get a response. So it's because of the low power out of Fordland. So, all right, we're good to go, Teresa. Thank you so much uh, for jumping in there for me. I felt like I was drowning. So <laughs> you have a good evening, and I'm glad uh, this episode is over. This is a Skywarn recognition day we will never forget. For sure, yeah. Uh, they're keeping our fire department still busy over on the east side. The trees down, power lines down, and they had to transport uh, he's the ambulance with one. The gentleman was out trying to clear the trees and think they might, he might have had a heart attack. So they had to hand carry him to the other main road. So it's definitely. All right. Thanks. And I sent them a message and told them that we were going to stand down for the night. So appreciate your help and try to get some rest. Zero, All right, Teresa, will do. I really appreciate you. Uh, you did a great job tonight, uh, earlier too, Patty as well, and uh, thank you for, for all the support there. And I hope the gentleman who uh, may have had the heart attack is okay. Yeah, we got beat up pretty uh, pretty good here in Branson too. I've heard of some pretty good damage. Uh, thankfully, no reports of injuries or anything worse here in this area, thankfully. So, uh, uh, but uh, we went out and walked around the house uh, and did a survey. Everything's fine. I had a couple of roof tiles blow off, but that's nothing new around here. So, anyway, all right, Teresa, have a good night. Again, thank you for everything. KC0 OKP, this is KJ60Q, Branson, Missouri, and we'll be clear. Yep, everybody. And I think they're going to get back on and go back out to weather service later this morning and go again for Skywarn recognition. Yeah, I'm going to go out and look. Uh, Ron keyed up the 440 repeater. It keyed up okay, but I'm going to get out and just double-check uh, out here in the backyard. All right, we'll talk with you later. Case is there, okay, Pete? And the Southwest Regional Skywarn Net is in the stand-down mode and available for anybody that would like to talk. Case is there, okay, Pete? N-0-N-W-S, repeater.